So in this video, we're going to be building off my previous video where we built a virtual machine scale set with Terraform on Microsoft Azure. But now we're going to insert what's called the health probe into that. And that is going to allow our virtual machine scale set to automatically tear down and create new instances when they become unhealthy. And if you're not coming from a previous video, you just want to know how do I insert a health probe with Terraform, keep watching. You can do the exact same steps and just insert them into your code. So the first thing I need to do is I need to come to my load balancer, Terraform configuration, and I need to add a new resource. So I'll go on over to the HashiCorp documentation and I'm going to look for a resource called Azure RM load balancer probe. And I'm going to go to the example and I'm just going to copy the example for the load balancer probe resource here. I'm going to go back to my code and I'm going to paste that in just below my load balancer rule that I created. Now it's important to note if you want to use a load balancer probe, you have to associate that probe with a rule, right? And they, the ports have to match. So if I wanted to create a probe that's checking for the health on port 80, I have to assign that to my rule for forwarding traffic to port 80. And then under my rule, I need to add another attribute that we didn't add the last time. And that is going to be probe ID. And it's going to be equal to the probe that I'm creating. So Azure RM load balancer probe dot example, Azure RM load balancer probe example dot ID. You have to associate the load balancer rule with the load balancer probe when you're using a virtual machine scale set and sending that traffic to that backend pool. So under my probe, I'm going to add a few more attributes here. I want to add protocol, right? Because I'm forwarding to HTTP and note I'm using a capital H here. If you need to use a capital H, I need to add another attribute called request path. And this is going to be the path that the probe is probing for health, right? Whatever path you provide here needs to return a 200 okay status. Anything other than that, your health probe will come back unhealthy. So for me, because we are creating web servers in our virtual machine scale set, and we're creating an index.html, right? When I hit that website, I'll hit the index page. So for my rule, I am going to do slash index.html. So my probe will hit index.html and expect to get a okay 200 good return status. And then I need to find the number of probes, right? And this is the number of probes before the probe is determined to be unhealthy, right? So I'm going to do three. So after three unhealthy probes, the instance will be in the back end will be determined to be unhealthy. And then one last attribute, I'll do interval in seconds and I'll choose five. So every five seconds, I'll do a health probe after three unsuccessful health probes. So after 15 seconds, I will consider this VM in the back end pool to be unhealthy. And I've associated my probe with my rule. So that's it for the load balancer side. That's all we need to do to get our health probe configured on the load balancer side. So now I need to tell my VM scale set how to use this probe. So I'm going to go to my VM.tf and I'm going to go to my Azure RM Linux virtual machine scale set resource. And I need to tell the VM scale set to start using my probe. So for this, I'll add a new attribute health probe ID. And again, this will be the resource of the probe that I'm creating. So, and now in order to use this health probe properly with my VM scale set, I want to create what's called automatic instance repair settings. So under my network interface block, I'm going to create a new block and it's going to be called automatic instance repair. And I'm going to provide enabled. Oh, I'm going to provide enabled true. So I'm enabling automatic instance repair, meaning if a VM in my scale set, my backend pool is found to be unhealthy, we'll automatically destroy it and we'll automatically replace it with a new one. And then I'm going to add grace period. So grace period is how long after the VM is created, right? 
So once it is created or becomes unhealthy, do we wait for it to become healthy again before deciding to destroy it and replace it, right? So I'll set PT 10 minutes, and this is the lowest you can set it, right? So if my VM becomes unhealthy or it never goes healthy, after 10 minutes, we will destroy it and we will replace it with a new one. So I'll save that. And then last but not least, I'm actually going to take my rule here for forwarding traffic to port 80, and I'm going to add a second rule. So let me name this one HTTP, and it's named HTTP, okay? Let me name this one SSH, SSH. And I I'm, I'm only doing this because I want to SSH into one of my instances uh, once this is deployed so I can create a scenario where one of my servers becomes unhealthy so I can demonstrate to you the process of it waiting 10 minutes and then destroying it and recreating it. So with that, I think I have everything I need. So now I'll go ahead and run a Terraform init and this will download my providers and I'm good. And now I'll run Terraform plan just to make sure that everything that I'm attempting to deploy is being deployed the way I expect it to. And I'm creating a VNet, a resource group, a subnet, public IP, uh, VM scale set with all this good stuff, a load balancer rule, two load balancer rules, load balancer probe, back end address pool, and load balancer. So that all looks good. So now I'll do a Terraform apply. I'll type yes, and that will start deploying my VM scale set and my load balancer. So while that's deploying, I'm going to come on over to my Azure portal, and I'm going to wait to see when these resources come up because I want to start timing um, when these instances come up because I want to show you them going from unhealthy to healthy. There's my resource group waiting for my scale set. We've got my load balancer now and my VM scale set. Let's look at our instances and it's trying to create four. Uh, I only wanted two, so two of these will be destroyed. I'm not quite sure why it's creating four at first. I think it has something to do with just trying to allocate resources on the, the back end of Azure. All right, and now we can see I've got my two desired VMs in my scale set and they both show unhealthy now. Now I get a health state. Because I have a health probe, I get a health state of healthy or unhealthy. And they're showing unhealthy because that load balancer probe check has not confirmed that they are healthy yet because we're still installing Apache 2 and we're still creating our web page. So if I go back to my resource group and I look at my nope, load balancer, if I look at health probes now, you can see I've got one health probe and I seem to have misnamed this, uh, but you can see we are checking port 80 at the path index.html. So back on my scale set, I'm just gonna wait for these to become healthy. Oh, and there we go, we get one healthy so far. All right, now we're just waiting for the other one to go healthy. And then once these are healthy, I am going to demonstrate what happens when they are unhealthy for those 10 minutes. All right, so both of my VMs are healthy. So I'm going to go back to my terminal here and I did get an error. It looks like one of my rules did not complete. And that is because when I copied the HTTP rule, I did not replace the port to 22. So I'm going to need to do that before I'm able to SSH in. All right, now we should be good to SSH into this machine. So I'll do SSH-I and I'll point to my private key. And I want to do, what was the user? 
I configured for all of my VMs. Admin user, so admin user, at, and now I need to get the front end IP, so the IP of my load balancer, and use that to connect. And with this, I am SSHing to one of these instances. I don't know which one. It looks like it sent me to three. Um, so let me, I am going to just stop Apache 2. Oop, looks like I need to be sudo stop Apache 2. All right, so I've stopped the web server. So let me go back to my instances and I should see unhealthy now in about 15 seconds. Because remember, I said three unsuccessful probes, five seconds apart means the instance is unhealthy. And there we go. So now this VM is determined to be unhealthy. So the load balancer will not send traffic to this VM as long as it's unhealthy. Right, I should never, as a user, get directed to this virtual machine anymore. And so I'm going to now start a small timer. And at approximately the end of this, maybe a minute before, we should see this virtual machine get destroyed and recreated. <laughs> So not quite 10 minutes has passed, but now you can see that the VM is respinning. So the old one got deleted and we're getting a new one created. So let me stop this timer because we did set the grace period to 10. So um, I want to figure out why this is, why that happened early, about three minutes early to be precise. So the documentation, let's look for grace period, uh, amount in times, minutes between 30 and 90 which for automatic instance pairs be delayed. The grace period starts right after the VM is found unhealthy, right? So we did specify 10 minutes um, and it did happen after seven. So I'm wondering if it saw the first unhealthy and initiated it then, but that shouldn't be how that works. ISO 8601 format. And it looks like this format, right? So PT1M, so that does stand, the way we entered it does stand for 10 minutes. It is valid format. Um, so it should be 10 minutes. So I'm not quite sure why that happened. You get the gist, right? We've set a grace period. So if our VM becomes unhealthy, it doesn't immediately get destroyed. It We give it a chance to get healthy again. <laughs>